welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ghost Gaming with me, Christopher. We're back with Hogwarts Legacy and my first play through the game, playing as a Ravenclaw student on hard difficulty. Well, last time I did the first trial for the Keepers, and uh, it was uh, it was interesting. Got uh, in the end to a big old boss, uh, sort of like a pensive guardians, but just very very much bigger. So that was fun. Had had an interesting time. Only died once. Quite happy about that. And uh, in this episode, we're gonna do well main story things actually because i can get alohomora and i do want to get alohomora now we are here in the rumor requirement and as you might see it looks a bit different first of all there's uh, stuff lacking i have moved the things also i realized that yes you can absolutely have different colors in this i just uh, settled on the green not even thinking that, you know what, we could have something else. So I went for, like, a, in here, a mix of red and white. So red for the um, sort of central pieces and white for the rest. Uh, what's left in here... Why is the... Bloody hell, why is that flickering? So annoying. Um, what is left here is this thing I'm a jig. I uh, am okay with that being there still. Uh, but if we move into this place, which I've now done... Well, okay, here's the thing. Let's see if I can change this now, because I couldn't when I was doing this. No, I still can't. This apparently is in use. Um, there might be something that uh, needs to be, I don't know, um, changed here. But I did change it at one time, so I'm not entirely sure in what way that's being used. Um, but yes, in here, wha-bam, there we go. This is my uh, her herbology place. So I've actually changed uh, the top a bit to the... Um, what is it called? Uh, not that one. Uh, what is it called? It's called Botanical Wall, yes. So I've changed uh, the top bit. You know what, N now that I think about it, why don't I go full on here? Here we go. Why don't I go this entire wing? It can be botanical. That'll make it fit better. So there we go. Uh, what color were you? Green, of course. So we need to change that as well. That is true. Why did I not do this before? Go get that green. Lovely. So this is indeed where I do my botanical stuff. Lovely. Might sort uh, paintings and stuff out later. I have gone and bought this because I did, as I said, go and sell my items. Got a bit of gold for that. So I got the fertilizer. So now I can have, well, fertilizing stuff. Yes. Uh, so this thing, yeah, the leaves, I used fertilizer on that. We also have the venomous tentacula. So if I now go in here... Uh, in spect add fertilizer we can get more of them lovely so there we go uh haven't bought any new tables for now we might get to that later uh come on no, 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 there we go uh so there we go i hope i didn't move it, remove anything now oops so anyway, that's how this is now set up. I, I just wanted this because I don't want to have to spend money on it. So that's just going to save me money going forward. So there we go. Now, as for what we're doing in this episode, we want to get Alohomora, obviously. So that is the caretaker. He's going to help us with that. However, uh, we also have... I have no idea where to get Troll Bogies. And cast the Pulso. I mean... That seems easy to do, so I kind of want to do these two before we do anything else, uh, because we might get more assignment later as well. So, indeed, acquire all three common plants and use them simultaneously. Now, does that mean, I mean, presumably I can use them in here, right? Surely I can use them in here. Yes, I can. So, do that. Do that. Uh, is that simultaneously? Bring it. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if I'm... Wait. Return to Professor Garlic. Yep, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing here. Is that done? 
yes, that is done. No, no. Now, before we do that, let's have a bit of a look at this. She also wants me to collect troll bogies, so I'll need to find and defeat a troll to complete her assignment. My field guide will not guide me through this assignment, but my map could still prove. Useful. A bit of a hint there, I suppose. So, um, all right, world map. I mean, I might be actually be guided to it. I am not guided to it. All right. So, what do we have? Feldcroft. I mean, do I have like? Oh, it's actually. Oh, bloody hell! Oh, I did not believe that the map was this big. Holy crap, all right, fine. Um, all right, we have Carded Away, that's that thing. Uh, Brock Burrow, how would I know where a troll is? Uh, what's that? Ancient Magic Hotspot, all right, we were told about that too. We are on hold, by the way, for the trials, because apparently we need to sort something out, or rather, think a bit more about the... Um, think a bit, think a bit, think a bit more about the uh, goblins. Also, I just noticed something. We do have the collection status of stuff here. Collection, chest, field guide pages, and demiguise statues. Do we have that in Hogsmeade too? We do as well. All right. Um, all right, all right, all right. Now, okay, what was this? This is just called assignment stuff. I don't see how I can be guided by the map. Old Barton Castle, East Hogsmeade Valley, Northford Bog, uh, Bog Entrance. Does this say anything? Oh, crap. No, it doesn't really say anything. What's this? Jackdaw's Tomb. That, that is where we were, yes. Western Forbidden Forest. That's more ancient magic. Moon Calf Den. That doesn't sound trolly. Coral Ruins. Mm. Not sure about that one. Over here we have Aronshire. We have Central Hogwart Valley. We have Northern Fellcroft. That was something else. Apparently don't know what that is for some reason. The Mines Eye. Sea Bog. The South Sea Bog. Poid Sierra Coast. Tomb of Treachery. Sounds fancy. Phoenix Mountain, not Troll Mountain. Potser Castle. Oh, crap. Uh, Morrenweem Bridge. Poitzer Coast. Ruins. None of this screams troll to me. So I'm not a hundred percent sure what we can do about that. Interesting. When I say interesting, I have no idea what the hell to do about this. Hmm. And the available, not that. Um, yeah, Hogsmeade. I mean, we had a troll in here before, but we don't have a troll here now. That's not gonna help. And obviously, we. Well, I say, I say, we won't find a troll in Hogwarts. There have have been uh, accounts of trolls in Hogwarts. That is true. But all right, you know what? Uh, fine, we are gonna have to leave leave that one because I do not know how to do that. So let's go and have a bit of a chat with Garlic. Get ourselves Flippendo. I don't exactly know what Flippendo is, but uh, it is obviously gonna be down here. And on this occasion, she's actually just standing here. No classes needed. So hello, That's Garlic. Bouncing tentacular. That sounds horrific. Let's talk about Flippendo instead. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. 
Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Well, that sounds good advice, yes. All right, then. Nothing too bad here. Hey, there we go. Wonderfully done. If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Absolutely. You also have a thing of a jig. So let's uh, look at that one. So what was that one? Flips object enemies upwards and backwards with a short cooldown. Excellent setting up extending juggles. So Robert, how does that work then? That. You're a natural. Uh-huh. So it's basically Levioso. Levioso, but it just moves a bit. Propendo. Not entirely sure why we would need two of those, but I suppose that's instead of Accio? I'm a little bit unsure when I would need that necessarily. Uh, what I'm gonna get, by the way, with my next talent point is another set of spells, because bloody hell I need it. <laughs> um, Alright then. Where was I? Alright then, alright then, alright then. Yes. With Queen that said, screw you, garlic. We are not interested in you anymore. Uh, we are interested in Alohomora. I want that one. So where is where is you? You is somewhere in the castle. You are all the way over there, huh? Uh, San Francisco. Ooh, we are in a place where I actually have not been. And also Gareth Weasley wants to talk to us, and he's going to get Conjurations. Oh, he's going to give us something for Conjuration Spellcraft. Is he going to give us, like, more... Um, uh, is that going to be another potion station or something? Uh, well, all right. We are in a place where I haven't really been. So you know what? All right. You know what? It's a trip through Hogwarts, it is. Yeah, Let's have a bit of a run. Uh, oh, I am running the wrong way yes i am yes i am in through here please there we go lovely uh and then through here i believe without using the guidance spell here there we go i'm out of it so well actually you know what no i'm not gonna do that <laughs> but we're gonna just uh, enjoy hogwarts here for a moment and if i see some pages maybe maybe i'll do them but for the most part we're just gonna enjoy hogwarts a bit because it is, after all, a lovely place to be. All right, then. Uh, while we're doing that, I can actually talk about something I did in the... Yes, it's actually very, very relevant because it's right here. I didn't think we would, go, would be going past this. Yes, uh, while I was doing my explorations of Hogwarts, I actually unlocked this thing, didn't I? Ooh, do we have to unlock it again? So basically, you have... Um, for uh, four things that you can turn around so you can turn around the top thing there and i was struggling a bit because i thought that you know what okay that's that looks like two i mean you have two circles yes you go here well that's four squares sounds reasonable but uh, in the end i realized that oh hey here we go this is the this is the answer and it's not entirely easy to understand exactly why that is uh, but basically yes i solved it by using this uh, i haven't been down there though i thought that i'd save that for one recording so that's a thing that i did uh that's lovely what else do we have here what are you guys oh hello i haven't done that oh, one nice to see you my I young totally friend i totally missed that one all right then and yes indeed we are now up at the courtyard which is a lovely main entrance oh, hello what are you doing here now that I have all my gobstones back, oh. I'm ready to take on all challenges, if I can find any. Yeah, but why are you here? I mean, you're very, very alone. But all right, fine. Uh, let's hope that you find someone. Yeah, 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 it, it was me. Now I'm gone. I don't care for you anymore. Uh, all right, then. Let's just keep moving. Uh, wait. Hey, ah. it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Yes, I know it's you, Gareth. I thought that I had been through these, this place before. Didn't I come from here? How, how, how have I missed the flu powder stations? Alright, then. You apparently can give me something new for my uh, rumor requirement, and I'm interested in that. So what did you got for me? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was hoping you might want to redeem yourself for not having brought me that fruper feather and potions. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. I am very, very suspicious, but um, 
I can't wait to see what you've brewed up because it's probably gonna be explosive. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbees is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own brews. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Alright, well I have seen that location. There is a statue that you can... Well, I couldn't activate it, but you should be able to activate it to get to Honeydukes. Alright, um... Bit untoward, wouldn't you say? I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar. Sounds like it's off limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Alright then, well, sure. And uh, why wouldn't we be able to just buy those things? Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywigs things? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Well, you seem to be of a one-track mind here. So indeed, how about stealing? Wouldn't this classify as that? Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I mean, that's not a legitimate reason to actually steal stuff just because you don't steal that much. Bloody hell, Weasley. Alright then, fine, I'll help you out. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Well, I mean, I don't want to drink that. <laughs> I, I do not trust you, Gareth. Not, not as far as my eye can see. Um... All right, so we're going. Where were? Where were? Where were the flu stations? Okay, that's a bit cute. Um, where are the flu station? We have another painting here, but I am not interested in paintings right now. There should be flu powder stations. Uh, let's open the map. So where am I? Now exactly. Oh, that was that one. Ah, I see, I see. Where are you, though? I would love for me to be able to just find the yeah, it is over here. Sort of vaguely assumed that it would be. Oh, it's right here. No, it's actually... Ah, it is on the other side of the door. Fair enough. Ah, I see what I just found. The Great Hall. I haven't been here yet. Which is downright weird. And this is... This is not the right dimension, is it? This is not the correct dimension. The table should be twice the length, I think. That is a bit weird, but we do get the lovely, lovely... Oh, it is lovely, though. I mean, it kind of looks correct in some ways. Well, actually, okay, maybe it's just that it's wider than... Okay, you know what? No, the tables are actually... They do feel the correct length. I also like that I can just walk around here. Rebellion. Just, just lovely. Um, but alright, we've done that one. Oh, no, there was indeed a page there and a key over there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so that's the Great Hall ceiling. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Cool. And then we have another one of these things, which I still do not know how to solve. But I have learned something, by the way. You see, I've been just looking at this one. The, the one with the question mark. And sort of trying to reason what it is. But I never realized that there was a second one, yes. Uh, or rather, maybe I was watching a... Or looking at a door that only had one. But some of them do have two. So, um, yeah, still, I still do not understand these uh, don't get the correlation, like, at all. Someone needs to explain that to me. When I say someone, I mean, like, in the game. Uh, the key, however, I do not care about the key. That is not what we're doing right now. That is stuff I can do between episodes. So let us uh, move up here. Ooh. Wait. There we 
Oh, did I just... Uh... Okay. Well, fine. But that was way too late. But yeah, since, I, since I'm apparently here, and apparently you just zoomed right to the lock, we'll find them. Uh, you should go over now, right? Yes, indeed. There we go. Wabam. We, uh, we are one token richer. All right, then. Uh, Mr. Caretaker, I want to learn how to unlock things. You can apparently help me. All right, then. Hello, Glad Gladwin Moon. And you are placed interestingly close to one of these. So might you actually have something to tell me about this? Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! And uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Now, if you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Uh huh. Seems easy, possibly. Ah, demi guys, stuff I see. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. All right, then. Interesting, yes. Uh, the, the most important question, though, is, yes, what's in it for me? Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk, and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, 
You'll find one statue in the Prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. And there we go. Second spell of the day, the most important one in the game. Hello, Mora. Means that I'm going to be able to unlock doors. And that is going to be... Oh, it's going to be a lot of exploration after this. Oh, bloody hell. Well, that's interesting. Yes. Now, does that mean that I need to actually use it? Hello, Hamora. No, oh, good. Oh, all right. Ho, ho, gay. It's a proper puzzle thing, oh my jig. Oh, am I gonna have to do this for every single lock then? Bloody hell. Uh, all right, left and right to move the sparks, rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the rock. The, the lock. What are you saying? What are you saying? Wait, what? What are you saying exactly? What? Tyus is both corresponding gears are activated. Uh huh. I can spin it or. What am I doing here? What am I. doing? Alright, so now you're. okay. I simply need to find the correct situation. No. What? Oh, hello. Hello. Am I, am I doing it? I'm not entirely sure I understood well that, done. but I did it. Remember. Use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. Uh -huh. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so are we doing this every single time now? Hello, then? Amora. Apparently we are. All right. So, as far as I can tell, do I sort of find? There we go. Yeah. Okay. This one right there. Go. Yeah. Come on. Go. It's a bit fiddly sometimes. Now we need to do the in inner one. Ah, okay, so they are slightly separate then. Yeah, okay, okay, I see it now. I think I got it. All right, all right, all right. I think I got it now. Cool. So presumably when we get to rank two, there's going to be some difference. Uh, right then, we're getting into some good stuff now. Ooh, this is going to be going to be fun. So from Sirona, the um, the, 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 the proprietor there over at the the pub, which I do not remember the name of right now. <laughs> there, Mirabel, my dear Dot, has been asking after you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants. The more fragrant ones. Uh, ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of it. Well, believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hoping to see you soon, with or without the plants, your friend, Serona. That would be garlic, I think. All right, then, we're gonna chest with some money. Which is lovely. There are so many things that I can explore now. Ooh, it's gonna be great. We have more items, and uh, even if they're not good, they are money. And money is good. Money is, uh, as I said before, money seems to be a lot more important in this game than I uh, would have thought, actually. <laughs> kind of wish I was Harry Potter, you know, because bloody hell, Harry Potter has a lot of cash. Now, hey, are you a statue? I mean, you are a statue, but are you, are you an interesting statue? No, you're not, because uh, you are not in the zone, so to speak. Right, we're not done down here just yet. Let's check everything out. So who's in here, by the way? By the way, maybe I can do all the locks immediately. Possibly. Oh, bloody hell, this is a big one. From Ferris Spaven, Minister of Magic to Fig. Ooh, am I in Fig's personal room now? Yes, that feels bad, but sure. Uh, I'm a receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for delaying my response. I'm still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not-so-recent stooging penalty in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into the modern age. 
Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than to see Quidditch uh, keepers flattened entirely. As to the topic of your recent letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to wizard kind are taken quite seriously. I made note of your concerns, and in as much time as time allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into. Schedule permitting. Yeah, we kind of know that the Ministry of Magic isn't really the most efficient uh, <clears throat> sort of body of. Uh, government or whatever as you might want to be. Uh, we value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself and you may rest assured that we have matters well in hand. You probably don't. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure seats for yourself and a guest in this year's Quidditch final. I think you would be delighted to see the results of a well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Ferris Bavin, Minister of Magic. I don't know which government they're talking about but it's probably not you. Uh, Alright then. Spin the globe. Um, yeah, I think I am in Fig's personal space now, which again feels bad. Uh, no, we can't do that. Return uh, additional moons. Ahaha. So that is why we want to do that. You know what? That is going to be almost a priority for me then between episodes because, uh, yes, indeed, we do want to do this. All right then. Yes. Castle Revelio reveals authority figures, etc. So do we know about this from before? So now we're going to get into actual stealthy thing at my jigs here. And I'm okay with that as a thing for this episode. So that is a pickup thing. So that is from Matilda Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Um, the Hogwarts House Elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. The cacophony was most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke and giving those of us nearby an abominable ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect the culprit was peace. Please keep an eye out and be careful. Lovely. Um, all right, then. One thing that... Did I sh show this? Or did I just do this? Whichever way it is, I have gotten the second level of stealthy. Now, that is the only level. Uh, the next level is... Particularly to Talos emanates an area of effect. Ooh. Oh, that's very useful, yes. Um, but all right, yes, yeah, so, so just so you know, I am a bit more stealthy, which is lovely. Now, Revelio. you are looking the other way. You are looking at one of those doors. All right, then. Hello, key. Yes, we, we know about the key. And I can lure unsuspecting enemies. Sure. Uh, but I don't think that I'm really interested in you right now, because you are not in the way, so to speak. Uh, another chest. Okay. Revelio. Revelio, maybe I should say. Oh, hello. Two of them. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? It's uh, not like you're... A generation of oh, sharp. cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yeah, well. It's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. You say that every year, Matilda. Now, you're Revenue. not tagged as... Uh, now you're red. Alright, fine. Uh, do I want to... You seem to be focused there. So you know what? Yes, that is a thing that I could try to get to. But right now, let's not focus on that. Let's focus on this. Stealthing. Stealthy, stealthy. I like stealth. Um... Let's see what we have here. We have you. You're moving a it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And where am I going? I'm going over there by a group of them. Revelio. Okay. Let's go here. Do that one. Bit of a page guide for me. Let's get in here. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Let's have a Hello, look Homora. at that lock. Okay. So basically, we're just trying to find. Uh, 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 the location of you, and then we need to keep still there. There we go. So, in this location, that went fast. Lovely. I mean, it's it's simple. It's not uninteresting. Revelio. Okay, so what if we. Am I super stealthy, by the way, because I have the upgrade? Okay, we can turn stuff on. Hello, we have a chest. Hello, Amora. Hello, I hope that no one bothers me. When I do this. Okay. There we go. 
And the other one. Probably gonna start uh, cutting these out, by the way, so you don't have to see me do this all the time. Uh, there we go. That's done, even though I doesn't feel like I did it right, but whatever. Uh, this is just a toilet, which we can presumably do something with. But yeah, am I? Revelio. I have a page or two. Prefix bathroom. The prefix bathroom features a swimming pool sized bathtub that can be filled with enchanted soap and colorful bubbles, as well as a beautifully beautiful painted mural depicting a mermaid. But yeah, are you. I don't think you are aware of me, actually. So I am super, super stealthy. There we go. Get that. Lovely. Oh, you are actually moving. Oh, bloody hell. You're moving quite fast, even. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. You started to move, you bastard. There we go. Revelio. Where did the other ones go, then? You actually just went away. Good. Uh, get out here. And we need to go up, yes. The second one is even higher up. Also, flu station. Lovely. The hospital wing. Um, Alright then. Well, I'm going all the way over there. Alright then. So that's garlic and some random people. Can I get that without anyone noticing? Oh, no, 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 no. They are very, very, very alert here. Okay. Revelio. Revelio to see where they are. So what was it that I could do with... Right, I can do stuff like that. Revelio. But like, now you're super into this place. Okay. Okay. So how do you... Now you move over there. Am I going to be fine here? For Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn I think the I might be. Rules. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But are, not, are you now going to move? Because the other ones did. Revelio. Not necessarily. What's that note here, too? Hello. Rather a lot like life. Isn't it? Hogwarts School of Wish oh, Garden Wizardry, Nurse Nero Bailey, Redacted, but there ever is patient name redacted. I suppose you should. Uh, patient was injured uh, during a Quidditch match, though, in my professional opinion, uh, something something hardly counts as an injury. In fact, if anyone was injured, it was me, as I do not believe I've ever rolled my eyes quite so hard in my life. It is a wonder I can even see to write this note. That's, that's lovely levels of sarcasm there. Uh, rather unbelievably, or indeed despicably, the headmaster now wants to catch Cancelled Quidditch shop because the pure blood something something went and something something before the snitch was even in sight. When I pressed the headmaster slightly, I was told something something. Staggering. Yes. Um. Oh bloody hell! Where did you go? You just left and you did not see me. Are you gonna leave too? No, you don't leave, which is, I suppose, fair enough. But I am gonna. Scavenge a bit. Actually, you just. Oh, hello. I d oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh, that is a level 2 lock. Let's not bother with that. And we're done. Good, 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 good. Revelio. But I see potential problem. No, we are good. We are good. Yeah, you are not a problem. I can stuff past you. Yeah, I sort of figured that would be a thing. Boris the Bewildered, the statue of a lost looking wizard known as Boris the Bewildered, has perplexed you for ages. Is he coming or going? Is he at the beginning of a journey or the end? Perhaps we shall never know. Good question. I'm gonna say he's in the middle of it. That is what I'm gonna say. Uh, Alright then, alright then. So we are presumably good to go here, right? Ooh, there's another page here. Let's get that one over here. That's a level 3 lock, alright? 
a jewel encrusted tortoise shell. Many assume this to be the shell of a fire crab native to Fiji. However, those who don't know swear it's a bejeweled tortoise shell created by a mad wizard near Versailles. When his chateau was overrun by Nifrus, the dazzling shell was carried off to be discovered years later by a Hogwarts professor on holiday in the Ardennes. Alright then, I, 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 I suppose. Uh, oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you. And you're gonna take notice. Oh, hello. Talent point. Uh, we are gonna do exactly what I said I was going to do, which is in core. I'm gonna get another one of these bloody things because I'm gonna need it. And specifically, you know what? We'll I'll get to that later. <laughs> Not super important right here, right now. What is important is that I move past you and out of here. Uh, wait. Right, I'm not on the right level. We need to go one down. Revelio. Are we cool? We seem cool. Are you gonna be teleported there, Nikki? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, and yes, that was not a level one lock. Yes. All right. That was rather good of me. I, I did well there, I should say. All right, then, Moon, I've done two of them. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. All right, then. Well, um, you know what? If I can, I'll help. No, no, no. I'll be, I'll be friendly to you, because you can teach me how to unlock more difficult locks. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. I mean, at least for the ones in uh, Hogwarts, yes. But uh, otherwise, we should be fine, right? But yes, how many are there? How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Well, all right then, fair enough. And indeed, what can you give me for this? You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. I mean, that sounds really, really good, yes. All right then, fair enough. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. All right, then. That was indeed, if after all, quite easy. Revelio. Uh, did I have... I thought I saw something. Maybe I didn't see anything. Okay, never mind then. So, yes, indeed. That was good. So, I wouldn't mind uh, actually doing Weasley's quest now, because I want to see what he can give me. Uh, let's see here. That one. And I do not remember where that statue was. He said third floor. Uh, but, like, let's have a bit of a look. So that is... Yeah. Uh, if we go here... If I just... I want that to be... The thing. Wait, where am I? Very close by, it would seem. Alright, well, if I just simply... Get up... Stairs. Uh, where would that be? Do we have upstairs here? This looks That's like the right statue. Oh, 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 was I right by um, the statue? Oh, what hello. What was the password? I was it, would you know? Um, damn, I thought that I had to go up. <laughs> but all right, then, hello. Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? That is a good question, and bloody hell, this is probably not going to be as easy as Gareth thinks it's going to be. No, not at all. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Uh 
Uh huh. Uh, so you know what? What we're gonna do? We're gonna go over to this one. This is gonna be my my uh, room uh, room thing. So this is where we'll have all of those. Uh, so there we go. I want my standard. Okay. Oh, I want my standard one to be this one, where I want uh, Expelliarmus. I want Accio. I want Levioso, and I want. Defin not defend the disillusionment, and then crap, and then over here. Oh, <laughs> oops, not exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> and he's always so careful around the edges, but on that occasion, he has yeeted himself. Uh, all right, then fine, we're gonna have to redo that. That's fine. That one, that one, that one, and then up here, we're gonna have that. That, that, and that. And then on that one, which is how I wanted to do that, um, I can have Reparo Wingardium Le No, actually, uh, no, you. Then Wingardium Leviosa there. And then up top, I'll just have. I don't know. Rest of momentum? No, all of these are combat stuff, so I actually don't so much care. Can I just have, like, nothing? Can I clear? You can't clear, which is kind of weird. Um, uh, but yeah, okay, you know what? Screw it. You just have Confringer there. I don't care. So there we go. Repairo. Repairo that thing. So there we go. Go back to our basic thing here. Yeah, this seems like it might be a longer... Uh, a longer that seems to have done the trick. than I'd previously expected it to. Uh, all right then, let's uh, whack this and get down. Because it's a bit of a ways away, 200, that's not nothing. But what am I going to be facing down here? Well, I see some moonstone over there. So that's Revelio. Anything else? Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, hello. That's curious. Oh, do we get around here then? Yes, yes we do. That's how you get to that chest. Thank you. Chest with 70 gold. Lovely. All right, then. Let's get this in here. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Indeed. Oh, hey, you are uh, Horglamp use, which is exactly what I need for my Wiggable potion. I do not wonder where you can grow. Can you grow? So that would be lovely, but I don't think I've uh, seen any seeds for it. Oh, hello. Scurrying rat. Lovely. Okay, no enemies so far. Oh, bloody hell, of course it's freaking spiders. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna put... Uh, actually, yeah, you know what? You give me, you're a bit utility. Yeah. Rebellion. It's about to be spiders, isn't it? Incendio. Is it it? But also something else. Interesting. Okay, well, we have a chest here. Ooh, frameless tinted. Okay, we can get through here to somewhere. Still haven't been have to use those things. Okay, where am I going exactly? Is this. This is just back. Wait. Hold on. Wait. This is where I was. Hold on. I did just loop around. Okay, that's confusing. That is really <sighs> confusing. <laughs> but alright then. Fine. So I'm gonna assume if I do Let this. Me also. No. I'm trapped. Uh, How am I supposed to get out of here? You're not trapped, that's fine. Levioso. There we go. Get up. Get up. Lovely. Nothing too Revelio. bad. So we have a bunch Going of... Going to have to get past this. this. Levioso. Fine. Oh crap, yeah see, now we super, super good. Oh crap! No, no, don't, don't. Jesus. <laughs> you're only supposed to do that. Holy crap. Crisp, you're an idiot. Um, Reparo. Repair that one. Levioso. Repair. Oh, come on. Levioso. Levios, don't fall down, you bloody idiot. Jump over. Good, good, 
good. Did was I supposed to? Oh right, 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 right. Go here now. Okay. More stuff. Some incendio. Lovely bats, etc. Okay, we'll have more Repair. destroyed things. But that's go and I'll make it across. Yeah, yeah, I can make it. Leviosa. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Uh huh. What? Perhaps I should cast Accio to get that frame out of the way first. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Accio. I see. I see. Leviosa. I like the small puzzles that, that they have. That did the here. trick. Okay. Well, jump over. Good. Good. So maybe no spiders, or maybe no one spider, and a really big spider, possibly. Revelio. Okay, Revelio. No spiders yet. No, that's a toad. <laughs> Toads are not this spiders. This must be the way out. Sure, can we? Well, I can, but I'm not allowed. I guess I saw... Didn't I see something? No, it's over there. I need to find a way to open that gate. How do I... Oh, right. I... This is a game where you can swim. Right. This is not a Elden Ring anymore, where the pr protagonist did never take swimming lessons. Um, all right, then. Yes, indeed. So that looks uh, fiery. Incendio. Yes, lo that looks fiery. There we go. Let's see puzzle. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey jukes. Uh huh. So where's the thing that I need? Do I need to go up? I think I do. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Also, Revelio. be stealthy. That's a chest right... Oh, there's a, I see a lot of chests, but presumably some of them are outside. Well, that is I the have Billy the dried Billy things. things. Now back to Gareth. But I can first, only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. There is a stair, a ladder I can do something with, but there was also a chest there. Okay, maybe I don't need to be stealth actually. Uh, how would I go to that one? I was about to say is right here. Nothing too bad at all. There we go. Prefect shirt and tie uniform. Ooh, that sounds... That sounds a bit snazzy. I mean, I'm not a prefect, but you know, why not? Must be... This solution. I could've just have walked... Bloody hell, I could've just have walked through here. Would've been so much easier, wouldn't it? Oh, bloody hell. Well, we can steal some money from this place. And it's that... Oh, that's a level 2 lock. That's too bad. Can eat some cake. Lovely. I have some cake, wouldn't mind that. I never was here, by the way. That is true, I never was here. I should think that I no need to be in stealth anymore. Uh, Alright then. Well, 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 well. What if I... Oh, bloody hell, that's bright. There we go. So, one of the things that we were supposed to find then in this place are those... Uh, Big, the disguise you things. I don't remember the name for that now. Uh, we don't want to throw rocks. No. So where, where would those be? For example, not there. Are those all going to be behind locks? That's a possibility. So let's. Oh, hello. Right immediately. Good, good. Oh, oh hello. Go. That uh, was an easy one. Always love it when it's in their correct position immediately. So if we go in what here... What do we have here? A demigod. Do we? Where? Ah, there. All right, then. Well, uh, why don't I pass some time, which we did here. Yes, so let's pass some time. Mine now, demigods.
And there we go, the demiguys has lit up, we collect it, lovely sir. Are they all gonna be behind locked doors? That is that or why we're doing unlocking of things. There's absolutely no one here. So why are you not here? Why are you not in your bed? It's night time, you should be sleeping. Um, but all right then, that's interesting. That is most likely something I will be doing a fair bit of between episodes. Uh, won't talk to Moon unless I am recording though, so that I don't, you know, skip some interesting stuff. But yes indeed, I mean, you can just walk over here. That's, that's just locked. And no way to get in, but that is presumably because it's a specific place. Yeah, that is the brood and pick or whatever. Uh, but alright then, I think we've done good enough for this episode. I am happy with what we've done. I got a little more. That is really, really important. Oh, hello, 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 hello. I missed you before. I missed you before the little chest with 500 gold in it. Thank you. Lovely. So in the next episode, I mean, I'm going to go back to... Well, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Pff, bloody hell. We're going back to uh, Weasley, obviously. I want to see what we get from that quest. Completely forgot about that. Oops. Um, so, Mr. Weasley, you are right by the Great Hall, I think, was closest. There is apparently also a demiguise related to the Great Hall. That's a key. I don't care about the key. But it's probably going to go to where it needs to be. Also, there was a chest over here I completely missed before. Cobalt Debonair Ensemble. Lovely. Uh, but yeah, alright. So there will be a demiguise here somewhere. And it feels like it's going to be here. Hello, right? Mora. This is going to be the spot for that, presumably. Yes, let's just get position. Let's go as quickly as we can. There we go. There it is. Lovely. So indeed, uh, going forward, if I ever have to unlock a uh, lock, I think I'm just going to unlock it and just skip. Fine now, demi guys. The, the demi guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip it because um, you know, you, you you now know how level one locks work. I want to see if level two locks are any different, but uh, yeah, level one locks. We are done. Ooh, hello, and you staff. Start staff wand, and you wand handle. That's also lovely. Uh, all right then. There we go. Yeah, I love the fact that I have a lot more. That is a big step up, I think, in, well, every sense of the world. Why are you not running? How can running be so awkward in this game? Is it just because he sort of doesn't want to run sometimes? I do not Hello know. again. Were you able to get to Honeydukes? I was, and it was super easy. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Absolutely. And would you know it, I might require a small fee. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. Didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. And what do we get for that Quidditch board? Is that what I got from you? A Quidditch board? What? Do I want with a Quidditch board? Uh, let's have a bit of a look here. Collections in... <laughs> no, that's brooms. Beasts. Revelio pages. Ingredients. Conjurations. Here we go. So those are the ones that I have from Vendor. I have now unlocked a Quidditch board. So that was completely pointless and not at all related to... Uh, what it looked like in the in the little I, I suppose thumbnail or whatever <sighs> bloody bloody useless you are but all right then fine um oh that's interesting i just read conjuration spellcrafts can be found in collection shells and purchased in hogsmeade somewhere also hidden near butterflies and in the variants ah but those are not the butterfly um Paintings. Those are butterflies, like the one I found out in uh, the Forbidden Forest. Oh well. Uh, what I am gonna do, by the way, before we end, challenges. Cause no, 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 not challenges. Uh, collections. No, wait. No, 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 no. Challenges. Didn't I? Wait. Didn't I do a challenge? Uh, 
I have claimed that. I thought I did something. I definitely thought I did something. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Completed four assignments. Um, top of the class ensemble. <sighs> Lovely. Also, oh, they did not do these. No, I apparently didn't do those. The uh, bookish half rim spectacles. Lovely. They are mine now. Uh, still have not done those. Cool. Exploration. Yes, indeed. Here we go. So we got the Secret Solver's bathing costume. <laughs> that doesn't sound like anything I want. And also a Night Dancer broom. That is the first my, my first appearance change, I think. And I'm actually up to 52 on field pages. That's pretty damn impressive, I think. Uh, Sonko's Chief Prankster coat. I can start looking like a prankster. And Hogwarts Regalia Ensemble. Lovely. And... Nothing in room requirement. I have actually not done anything here, so I'm not entirely sure what I need to, to do there either. Presumably use my plants in combat, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. But alright then, that is it for this episode. In the next one, let's have a bit of a look. I still do not know how to do that. I'm now looking a bit at that that little uh, icon there feels like a cave right but again it doesn't really help me I'd say because like I don't know the location of any caves as far as I can tell I mean sure a bit of exploration might be uh, relevant yes absolutely but uh yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that one, so I'll leave that be for now. So, the pulse, we need for that, but we don't get anything. You know what, beast class. That sounds good, because I have found some beasts out in the wild, but I haven't been able to do anything with them, and in after all, in inventory, beasts are a tab, and I don't exactly know what we do with them. Is it just Pokemon, or is it do they fill a functionality or something? I have no idea. So, you know what? Yes, beasts. Let's learn a bit about that in the beginning of the next episode. For now, though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.